chosen ones, the curse is broken and your financial release is here. I want you to let that thought get deep into your mind, your spirit, which is located in your stomach, your subconscious. Let that elevate you to a higher plane. Understand that you are the one that your family's been waiting on. You are up next. And a part of that, when people say that, what does that mean? It's your time. You have been chosen. Why do you think I say that? I believe certain people are chosen to make things happen. And you can't convince me that you are chosen. Here is a sign, right? That you are a chosen man, woman. I get this all the time. How do I know if I'm chosen? You break curses. That's just, I'm going to give it to you straight. Chosen men, chosen women are the curse breakers. You are the ones who change the game up. And you usher you and your seeds into generational blessings, abundance, and wealth. Clout, for lack of a better word. Recognition. Open doors. You're the one. So I want to begin. I think you all really appreciated that prayer last week, right? I was kind of careful about that because I don't want to force my beliefs upon you. But I think you all appreciated that. That's the impression I got from the comments and the feedback and the views. So I'm going to keep that coming. So I'm going to drop one today. I'm going to give you this prayer today. So if you don't want this, you can tune out right now. But for those who want this, come here. I'm going to drop this prayer now on how to release financial blessings and abundance. I break all assignments of the enemy against my finances. I break all curses of poverty, lack, debt, and failure. I seek first the kingdom of the Most High, His righteousness, and all will be added to me. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of the canker worm, calipiter, locusts, that will eat up my blessings. Lord, teach me to profit and to lead me in a way that I should go. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are El Shaddai, the Most High of more than enough. Wealth and riches are in my house. I fear you and delight greatly in your commands. The blessings of the Lord upon my life make me rich. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. I am the Most High's servant and he takes pleasure in my prosperity. Believe that. The Most High became poor that through his poverty I might become rich. Let peace be within my walls and prosperity in my palace. The most high of heaven will prosper me. I live in the prosperity of the king. Through your favor, I will be a prosperous person. Come on. I'm trying to read this. I'm getting fired up reading this. You have called me and you will make my way prosperous. Come on now. Lord, release the wealth of the wicked into my hand. Bring me into a wealthy place. Open the floodgates of heaven over my life. I receive more than I have enough room to receive. Let every hole in my bag be closed. Rebuke the devourer for my sake. Let your showers of blessing be upon my life. Let my vast overflow. Let my barns be filled with plenty and my presses burst with new wine. Command your blessings upon my storehouse. Believe that. Let my barns be filled and overflowing. Let my sheep bring forth thousands. Come on. And ten thousands. Let's go. Let my oxen be shown to labor. Let's go. Bring me into a good land without scarceness and lack. That's the prayer today from me, from your big brother, to you. Let's tap back in. Chosen ones. A curse has been broken. In your financial wealth blessing has been released now that all of that has been said which we can end the video right there to be honest y'all probably fired up if you ain't fired about now then you don't believe if you don't believe you better start believing because that's real it begins abundance and you all know this already you all follow me it begins abundance begins with a mindset it is an energy game so getting our energy right our mind our spirit soul and body to align with the uh, places we're going to. I'll put it that way.
So, with that being said, I think there is, now I'm going to do a little education, if you don't mind. There seems to be a misunderstanding with a lot of people with regards to the nature of a blessing one and the nature of a curse. So I want to now teach a little bit, if you don't mind, the nature of a blessing and the nature of a curse. So briefly, if you don't mind, we're going to go back in history to the Greek and Hebrew text, which some would refer to as esoteric knowledge, secret knowledge, the Bible. Um, blessings and curses. Blessings, I believe, are mentioned over 600 times. And curses are mentioned 300 times. So that tells you that the Most High focuses more on blessings than the curse. I think you all think that's interesting. If blessings are mentioned 600 times, think about this. Let's think. And this is for you people who, who don't like me. I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I see you. I know you don't like me. I mean, the people who don't like all my positive talks because that's just fantasy talk. Big bro always make everybody feel good about life. No, it's not fantasy talk. There should be more conversations about blessings than curses. Some of you are obsessed with curses. You see what I'm saying? And when we start talking about blessings and prosperity and abundance, you get uncomfortable because you're comfortable talking about the dark side. And I don't understand that. So my objective in this video is to, to bring you out of that type of mindset. You got to, it changes with the mind. Stop focusing <laughs> on the curses so much. And even us in my title, but we're talking about breaking one. Understand, again, base level, that blessings are mentioned 600 times and curses three. That's significant. The most high mentions blessings twice as much as he does curse. That ought to tell you something. Both of these I'm teaching now are vehicles. So picture a car. You know, you get it. Let's, let's say the curse is a car. You, the curse is broke down. You know what I mean? You need an oil change. need a tune-up. You know, car rattling when you drive. That's, that's the vehicle. So both are vehicles of supernatural power. And they go from generation to generation. That's why it's called a generational curse, but it's also a generational blessing. You draw? So we're going to picture a curse as a tow down car. You know, we call it a beater. They used to call it back in the days a trap car. It means you might get trapped and you might be on Spurs Way trap. You hear me? A trap. And then you got the blessing. That's the brand new. That's the Benz, BMW. You out there, you're rolling. You know, you're in your car. It's brand new, smelling good. Love the interior. You got your cologne on for men, perfume for women. You're in that BMW, baby. The blessing vehicle. It's a vehicle. You got your music on. You listen to your Drake star from the bottom. I'm here. You know, all, all that, right? Two cars. One is for blessings, right? A vehicle, supernatural power. And the other one's curses. So both are vehicles, is what I'm saying, of a, or a transfer power. So we're either going to get transferred a power that leads to abundance or a power that leads to lack. You draw I have here seven signs of a curse, right? Humiliation, barrenness, sickness, poverty, defeat, helplessness, defeated. This is when you know you're dealing with a curse. When you begin to experience any of those seven, now you're in that tore down vehicle, right? We're talking about two cars, right? I'm in that broke down car. I might get trapped on the expressway. You know what I mean? That's the curse. And when you are experiencing this, and this is why that humiliation ritual has resonated with so many people because it is real. We have all experienced a curse. I know I have, and so have you. And if you didn't, you wouldn't like the video. <laughs> okay? You like that video because that was real. You hear me? We have all experienced being in this car. Yes. The humiliation, the barrenness, the struggle, the uh, embarrassment, huh? The not knowing what's going to happen, panic, right? The terror. By night, we've all been in this car. What we want to do, right? When we pass the test, we're back on brand, okay? <laughs> back on brand. When we pass the test, we get in this new vehicle, the BMW or whatever you like. Or some of you might like another type of vehicle. I don't know. Whatever you like. Now you're in a new power. We refer to as a blessing. And the blessing has seven aspects as well. Exaltation. We call it in today's modern terminology, clout. Right? Reproductive. Fruit. Whether that be resources, money. Y'all know them like this. Babies. Those are blessings. If you don't think so, you shouldn't have any kids. Okay? Having daughters, sons. I got kids. Those are blessings. That is a form of a blessing. Your child is not your curse, sir, ma'am. <laughs> that part. Let's get that clear. Your children, sir, madam, are your blessings from the most high. See, some of us don't know what blessing is. Some of us, we think blessing is just money. Now, blessing is your kids. Them children you got, those are your blessings. Here's another one for you. Health. Being healthy is a blessing. 
Okay, let's break it down because some of y'all missing it. Some of y'all think blessing just mean back. You can have a bag and not be blessed. <laughs> okay, you can have a bag and not be healthy, not connected to your kids, no clout, just got money. Just all, some people are just all sauce and no substance. Yeah, some people are all sauce, no substance, no character, no having type of charisma. Anyway, I'm ranting now. Prosperity. That's what we're all familiar with. The money. That's a big part of it. Success. The back. Five. Victory. Here's another one. Authority. Authority doesn't just mean, you know, what we think it means. It means to have the right to do things. That's authority. You have the legal right, the spiritual right to get things done. You draw? And you are above. That speaks of strength. You have that might and you have that fire in you now you see how i'm feeling i feel i'm trying to control myself you got that fire in you that that let's go that is a blessing so i'm gonna end this video t today by just kind of dropping some jewels in this video i'm gonna start doing that kind of to challenge you to watch the whole video so i'm gonna drop this now at the end i'm gonna read directly from the book breakthrough and deliverance fasting by john eckhart and i'm gonna read the chapter that talks about breaking the spirit of poverty there are believers who give. They believe God. They feel so bad they can't seem to get a financial breakthrough. They can't seem to get employment or opportunities for the business. They can't seem to overcome and they get depressed. Then they begin to feel as though they don't have enough faith. Maybe they don't believe God enough. Or maybe they're not saved like someone else. Maybe they're unclose to God. Maybe God doesn't like them. Maybe God doesn't favor them the way he favors others. You know, these are the thoughts that start going through your mind when you have trials. Okay, what's going on, right? It could be a stubborn spirit of property that has been in the family for generations, a curse or generational spirit, and that thing just will not let go. But I believe that with God, nothing is impossible. It may be time to fast, pray, until breakthrough comes. In the book of Joel, the prophet gave the people the proper response, excuse me, to locusts evasions, that can help believers today. As they seek deliverance in the area of their finances, locusts represent demons that devour. Locusts represent the spirit of poverty and lack. The locusts came upon Israel and devoured the harvest. Joel encouraged the people to fast and to repent. God promised to hear the prayers and to answer by sending corn, wine, and oil. Corn, wine, and oil represent prosperity. So fasting breaks the spirit of poverty and releases the spirit of prosperity. So say that with me. Fasting breaks the spirit of poverty and releases the spirit of prosperity. And so that's kind of how I want to end this video. Not say set the tone. Probably should read the beginning of the video. <laughs> now that I think about it. But kind of want to end this video on that strong note. Fasting and prayer and belief can break the generational spirit. And I broke down this video how spirits travel from generation to generation, whether that's good or bad, blessing or curse, and what you and I need to do to go forward. So I hope that this video serves as um, a number of things, educational, blessing, prayer, challenge, motivation. Um, I think and I know you'll leave here feeling better about your life, more optimistic, and having some concrete solutions as to what to do to go forward. So that's what I have for you today in this video. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. This is your big brother, King Jabez. You know how I do it over here. Peace.